Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through a complete beginner's tutorial on how to use paper trading in TradingView. By the end of this video, you'll be able to set up your paper trading account, practice buying and selling assets, and track your progress, all without risking any real money. Whether you're totally new to trading or just want to test strategies safely, this is the perfect starting point. So let's dive right in. First up, we need to head over to the trading panel in TradingView. If you're looking at your chart, just glance down to the bottom of your screen and look for the tab that says Trading Panel. Go ahead and click it. This opens up a list of broker options, but since today we're just practicing, go ahead and choose Paper Trading from the list. Think of this as your trading sandbox, nothing here affects your real money, so you're free to experiment as much as you want. Now once you're connected to Paper Trading, you can pick the assets you want to buy or sell. Maybe you want to test trading stocks, crypto, currencies, whatever you're interested in. The choice here is important because it lets you tailor your practice environment to the markets you actually want to get good at. Just take your time browsing the available assets and select the ones you want to focus on. Next, let's adjust some important settings to make trading easier. Click on the Paper Trading Settings menu, it looks like a little gear icon. Inside, you'll find an option to enable buy and sell buttons. Turn that on and then hit OK. This might seem simple, but having those visible buttons makes it a lot quicker and less intimidating to place your first trades. Alright, so now you're ready to actually place trades. At the top of your chart, you'll see the trade box. It should be pretty easy to spot. If you want to buy, just click the buy button and a panel will open up for you to enter the details of your trade. If you want to sell, click the sell button and you'll see a similar panel for selling. Take a moment to look at the fields here. You can input how much you want to buy or sell in terms of units. And if you want, you can also set your take profit and stop loss levels. These are essential risk management tools. Take Profit tells the system when to close your trade once you've reached a certain gain, and Stop Loss will shut it down if the market moves against you. Don't worry if you're still learning these concepts. The great thing is, with paper trading you can try them out and see how they work without any fear of losing money. Now let's talk about tracking your performance, which is key for any trader. Head back to the paper trading panel and look for the Summary option. Here you can toggle additional information on or off. You'll see your account balance, your equity, as well as realized and unrealized profit and loss. Think of this as your trading dashboard. Keeping an eye on these stats helps you understand how your strategies are playing out over time. If you want, you can actually create multiple paper trading accounts. Just look next to the paper trading dropdown. You'll notice an option to add or switch accounts. This is really useful if you want to test different strategies side by side or just like to stay organized. Before you start trading seriously, I recommend clicking the settings gear icon again, where you can set your commission percentage. This simulates the fees you might pay with a real broker and adds a layer of realism to your practice. That's it, your paper trading account is now set up and ready to go. Take your time experimenting and don't be afraid to make mistakes, that's how you'll learn the most. If you found this walkthrough helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and drop any questions you have in the comments, I read them all and I'm happy to help. And of course, if you want more tutorials just like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss an update. Happy trading and I'll see you in the next video.